congratulations. How would you describe your performance this afternoon? Uh, I thought I played. I thought I played pretty well. You know what I mean. I don't know what the statistics or averages or anything was, but I know whenever I got an opportunity, bar I think one leg probably. Um, I thought I played very well. So I did. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but uh, whenever I got an opportunity, I, I thought I, I thought I took it. I think even towards the end of the second set, you're averaging around about 96. Is that as comfortable as you felt on the big stage before? Definitely didn't feel. I definitely didn't feel comfortable at, at, at any stage. You know what I mean? Uh, I, uh, as I say, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I was trying to have in my own headspace of of uh, doing my own thing and seeing how that uh, evolved. But as I say, I didn't, didn't. I didn't know them averages or whatever. You know. You've never made it beyond the second round here at Ali Pali, but with the way you're playing at the moment, do you feel confident you can break new ground this year? Uh, I don't. I look back at it and I don't think you know if Michael Van Guren or or Guren Price or whatever sitting in front of you, you know you can't turn around and sit here and say you're, oh you're confident of going to the second or third round or whatever. You know you you have to look at what's and just how the how, what's in front of you and how the draw evolves you know you've no control over them situations so there's, there's people and, and I have sat at home many many times and watched uh, different players and they've got opportunities on the co- on the concept of how the draw has worked out so um, I, I just don't think you can sit and think you're entitled to to be in a quarter final or a semi final because of who you are, I think the draw has an awful lot to do with uh, the situation every year. And up next to you is Brendan Dolan, your former World Cup of Darts partner. What are your thoughts on that contest? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. look, um, I suppose back home it was it was a massive sort of draw whenever it came out. I had to peel myself away from it, and I kind of think, you know. That's not, it's not my draw. It's it's for everybody else's sort of attitude and kind of thinking. You know, it'll be this is on. You know, the two boys travel together. Yeah, it's gonna play each other. But like, as soon as the draw came out, my focus was uh, fo- uh, fully on Zong. Like, you know what I mean? I, I it, you can't peel away from the situation that's in front of you. And and, and that was my only probably. I did probably for the first week. I probably did practice a wee bit thinking about Brenton, but I had to switch off and kind of think that's not that's not my vicinity because the the first game is the most important. But uh, just to tell you another story, like you know, I get up this morning at seven o'clock and the first message is on my phone, which I knew uh, Brenton was arriving in late last night. Um, but Brenton was the first message on my phone at seven o'clock in the morning to wish me the best. So that just tells you all you need to know about the man that I'm playing tomorrow. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks. Mickey, congratulations. Well, that was 3 0. Did Song cause you more problems than what the scoreline suggests? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where he, where he caused me more problems. I think, I think it was just my situation and the kind of how I was feeling. Uh, probably trying to capitalise on the situation. And at, at times I didn't. I didn't capitalise on the opportunities that was available. I thought I was making it a wee bit awkward, but uh, as I say, whenever maybe I got a second chance and probably got a wee bit of luck, um, I did take them opportunities. You talked about darts in Northern Ireland not being at home. Has darts in Northern Ireland ever been in a better position with the crop of players that you've got now? Um, I probably don't generalise it as in Northern Ireland. You know, I look at the whole of Ireland. Like, you know, if uh, you're looking at all the lads that's playing on the on the on the tour here continuously, um, I think of maybe nine, have I, or nine or ten players. It's it's it's, it's unreal for such a small a small country to be producing the players. And probably my end of it, and and. A wee bit disappointed because it was the the first opportunity I got was um, coming through the Tom Kirby, and that gave me the opportunity, give Willie the opportunity, uh, give a few other players the opportunity as well. 
Well, unfortunately, that tournament's done away with to give them that, that opportunity of getting to the World Championship. But I suppose I can see the, the PDC's side of it as thinking Ireland's going pretty well. We don't need to promote it that much because, as I say, like whenever you're at home, I think a lot of the players play in a lot of tournaments, on, uh, local tournaments. So it's kind of a bit of a monopoly. You think, oh, I can beat him. I can play in the PDC. Uh, I can be one of them players. It works out for some, but unfortunately, the majority of them, it doesn't work out like it's a, it's, it's a seriously tough shift. So I applaud any any of the boys that's on our on our tour from Ireland. I say not north or south, but I think fair play to anybody that willing to take the chance on on how they evolve and, and how they do. Fair play to them. You know? Head up tomorrow's game. How do you put friendships aside to get ready for tomorrow? Ah, I don't know where there's like, me and <laughs> me and Britain is been together for the last 13 years and traveling mm. everything it was probably I'd have to say probably in the early in the early stages of my career I probably wouldn't have been uh, probably wouldn't have been here maybe to uh, Brenton helped me an awful lot financially mentally and all the rest you know what I mean so but that was earlier on uh, on give me the foothold to uh, progress so he did but as the years went on, um, I have seen how he has evolved. Like Brent, Brenton's been the top Irish player. You know, he's I think he's won nine, I think maybe nine uh, pro tour events. Uh, he's he created history in and in, in, in doing the double in double out. Um, I know Darl has come and Darl's phenomenal player as well between winning the players championship and the Grand Prix. But uh, Brenton's Brenton's different obstacle altogether, you know what I mean, he's, he's solid, uh, I think his whole career has been brilliant, you know, as I said, I've seen it week in, week out, uh, the two of us, uh, we've seen our own trials and tribulations, because whenever we're going well, and, and as I say, it's, it's, it's not about this week or last week or two weeks ago, it's, we're, we're going back years on you know, the two of us. Uh, Equally, I have seen his situation, and he has seen my situation. So, um, possibly, uh, we're, I'm glad the two of us are playing each other because at least one of us is getting to the next round. You know what I mean? Nicky, congratulations. Okay. Nicky, you played early on last year, obviously, on the opening night. Was it nice playing a little bit later and seeing the tournament unfold? Yeah, massive difference. I, ha I have to say, uh, the worst, the worst draw. Uh, tell anybody I think is and, and I've been in that situation I've been talking to Willie because Willie has been in that situation as well I think the first night I just don't think uh, it's, it's, it's probably the draw that nobody wants you know I mean, nobody. there's no enjoyment yes you've, you, you you prepare to win the first game but whenever you win that game uh, it's, it's very hard to switch off get the adrenaline down your friends and family and all it's all ecstatic because you've won the first game but you have to switch it's very hard to switch off and then say I'm going to go again you know and, and I have to say like fair play to Michael Smith because he, he dealt with the situation he was under a very hard uh, he, he was in a hard situation last uh, on Friday night but he dealt with it which most champions that's what you expect them to do but from the other side uh, it is a tough coin Whenever it's co it comes your way, you know what I mean. But I think uh, it's a draw. Most players, regardless of anybody else in the draw, you don't want to play the, on the Friday night, the first game, because of the situation of playing two games in the one night. Because uh, that's not how you prepare, you know. Yeah. You've been here nine times before. I mean, what would it mean to get past the second round into that? Third yeah, round? That, I've definitely. That's that's the goal, you know what I mean. Obviously, I, uh, different players has different opinions or whatever. But I've been here a lot of times. Uh, I failed at, at uh, the first round. Um, probably I've been favourites. That's, that's probably the crazy thing. I've been very. I've been favourite a lot of times, and I haven't prevailed. But I have to say, like the last three years, 
this is now my fourth year. I've played in the qualifier, international qualifiers, and I've won all them games. So the next step is the big thing, regardless of who I play. Um, I just the opportunity has always been there. I just think, and especially last year, just and I suppose nobody wants to hear it or whatever. But like I, I thought, last year was was a golden opportunity. Uh, Peter Wright wasn't playing well, so he wasn't. Um, I thought in two games in the one night, I had an opportunity. If I had a good Peter, uh, I think a day or two after, um, I think I would have had a, a very good chance. Peter's struggling a bit at the minute. Uh, unfortunately for him, uh, as you've seen last night, it has continued on this year as well. You know what I mean? So, um, as I say, it's a tough. It's a tough draw the, the very first night, but um, in my situation, um, I do think um, it's all about progression. But you can't look too far and ahead of yourself because you can't talk about the second round, the third round, or the fourth round until you win the first round. So thankfully, I've done that, and it's up to me now to. I've got myself. I give myself an opportunity, and I have to progress. Mickey, we've seen two Asian qualifiers already get wins on that stage this week. Did that make you a little bit more wary headed into this? It, it, it definitely did. Yeah, there is no uh, because uh, the Asian tour and 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 then the numbers is involved in it. You think like it's just not uh, two random players, three random players, or four random players. If you if you're coming out of that uh, population, I think it's, it's massive, massive population. And I can see why the PDC is going down that uh, route in general, because uh, it's it's a golden ticket, you know what I mean. But um, how how the lads had played before, yeah, I definitely. Uh, it was in the practice room last night. Uh, a few of the lads was kind of uh, begin giving it to me a wee bit um, about uh, playing uh, a Chinese qualifier. Um, how they had been practicing with Zong, so they hadn't how well he was playing. So you just don't know. You know, I know it's from. There's no point in going in and looking at somebody's background because, like, you know, if I was playing any of the players on the tour, their background really. I know everybody on the tour this last ten years. So there's, there's no point in going that road and like, you know, getting yourself in a situation that you mentally that you don't want to be thinking about but uh, whenever the players come from the Asian tour you know they're quality players and, and that was it was always play, it definitely was playing in my mind there's no point in saying any different I was under a lot of pressure so yeah uh, internally you know what I mean and I didn't know what to expect but you had to convince yourself you're good enough to prevail Mickey take well done thank you very much Thank you. Uh, Mickey, congratulations. Um, do you find that it's different playing an afternoon session compared to an evening session? Massive. <laughs> I, 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 I was here at half eight this morning and the doors was locked, so that's the, that's the difference. <laughs> um, I do, uh, yeah, and even compared to uh, last year, it was the first game on last year, uh, uh, I was here about half three or so. Because there's so much involved, and it's just not of ending up and going to the practice room because of the photographs, uh, maybe a few interviews and all, everything is entailed, in, in, and, and you have to prepare for that. I'm lucky enough, I know the whole situation. This morning, I thought I had everything I kind of covered, and uh, come here this morning, the doors is locked, so uh, um, I was under a bit of pressure because of how the whole time scale worked out but it is but in the afternoon I think you can uh, can sit and you can come early you can relax you can get your photographs you can do whatever interviews and all before and you can I can see how the whole thing's prevailing where in the morning especially the first game uh, it's it's intense like you know you, you're always looking at the clock because you know definitely you're playing at a quarter to one and uh, everything it involves and, Nothing prepares you for it, you know. I you don't know who say Dave's going to say we're going here, we're going there. So, look, it is. I think a lot of, for the players that's on the tour, I think 
we know the situation. I think it's probably more a disadvantage for probably the international players that's coming over and say if they win or whatever, uh, how how it evolves for them because they're not, I suppose, used to the situation that's presented in front of them. You know. And one last question: Do you um, conduct yourself differently up on the stage when you're playing against the French? <laughs> I don't know. What that, it, it hasn't happened that often, so it hasn't, you know. Um, I don't know. I think it's respect, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter who it is, you know, between who I'm playing or what. You can't, you, you can't give somebody more respect than somebody else. I think whenever you're, whenever you're up there, uh, it's how you conduct yourself to everybody, you know what I mean? I don't think I'm not going to give Brent any more respect than than he would give me or vice versa you know I just think it's uh, how, how you play the game and how it entails and, and how everybody uh, envisages how you've uh, performed or how you've uh, conducted yourself congratulations oh, thank you